from right to left in the first half. Kevin Scott, the big number three. That's O'Neill, here's Scott again. And Craig can follow in here. And Newcastle have taken the lead in the opening seconds. Number six, Albert Craig scores in the first attack. Made possible by Kevin Scott, whose shot crashed against the boards. Before Coton could recover, it was in the back of the net from Albert Craig. And you'll see from this just how quickly the game moves. Well, that was the only goal in the first half. 1-0 to Newcastle at half-time. We pick up play in the second half. This is Heatherston. Wide to the far side to Porter. In again to Heatherston. Back again to Porter. Oh, Sterling! Good save by Gary Kelly. He closed that little bit of daylight at the near post. Managed to get his foot to the shot. Dave Bassett has uh, taken charge of the Watford team here tonight. Players being used in short bursts here. We're having another substitution at this moment by Watford on the far side. But at the moment, it's Newcastle on the attack with Kaisley, number 10. Anderson getting it back from O'Neill. Anderson into Kaisley. That's a nice turn by the number 10. And Tony Coton saw the danger. Kaisley again. Oh, O'Neill, it's a goal. Number two for Michael O'Neill, the... Irish lad who was still at school when Newcastle paid a lot of money to Colerain a few weeks ago for him. He scores the second goal and very well snapped up here. Good goalkeeping initially by Coton, but Kaisley managed to square the ball to O'Neill and he made it look simple. And Watford straight away with Heatherston. And there's Porter, he's got one back straight away for Watford. It's Gary Porter who scored, it's 2-1. The goal's going in thick and fast now, but Newcastle still have the... One goal advantage after those two in a matter of seconds. It's 2-1. Oh, good play by Stevenson. He robbed his man there and got away on the side. Beautifully done. O'Neill now, can he release the ball to Bogey? He has. Bogey is at an angle. O'Neill's in support. Still Bogey. But the shot was by Stevenson. It was blocked. Peels for handball. Another chance for Newcastle in the penalty area. Stevenson again came close. But Watford hanging on by their fingernails here, although in soccer six, you never know, they might go away and score. Here's Hodges. Right across to Tim Sherwood, who's just come on. Hits the boards and, oh! Allen bundled Anderson down, and the ball rolled off them into the net. It's 2-2. Malcolm Allen applied the pressure. And John Anderson, well, I could think you could almost call out an own goal by Anderson. He was pushed into it by Allen. It's 2-2. Well, Newcastle drew their first match. There's now a fair chance they might draw their second. Here's Chivers for Watford. And Gary Kelly had a good look at that shot from Chivers. John Anderson trying to force Newcastle away again. And uh, the, referee, the referee's assistant spotting, in fact, but um, one of the players did not stay in the half, so Stevenson of Newcastle is sinbinned for coming back inside his own half of the field. So Newcastle are down to five men. They've lost a two-goal lead. It's all going well for Watford, but now Watford, I think, are probably guilty of the same offence, are they? The, the uh, deputy referee is standing, signalling. Glyn Hodge is the offender. I suspect he too came back inside his own half. We've now got two men in the sin bin. Well, anything's possible now. Jackson's moved up on this side. O'Neill's in there. Oh, what a chance. And Jackson, I thought it was over the line. No. Well, there's a debate. Tony Coton made the save from Peter Jackson. A goal has not been given. Well, you have to keep your eyes peeled in soccer six. It may just have been my angle. I thought there was a slight suspicion that might have gone over the line. So that fight back from Watford, the second draw in the group. 